sound of sizzling pancake. Once these are done, I guess I should start. here by the fire while Sam watches football. What? They have all these uh, floor pillows. And this fire is so warm. You think we could have one of these in our house someday? We could, but would we need it in Texas is the real question. I guess not, it's so warm though. It's like 30 degrees out and like, this is warming the whole room. So originally when we packed our bags, <laughs> It was supposed to be like 70 and it was supposed to get chilly tonight. So we had packed our winter coats just for dinner, but a cold front came through. So what's the high today? Like 30? I think the high is in the mid forties. Okay, but right now it's 30? Right now it's like 35. Yeah, <laughs> so we ended up rearranging our plans a little bit. And this morning when it was super cold, we just laid by the fire and honestly, it was goals. <laughs> It was amazing, but now um, Katie had suggested, um, what are we going to? Red Rock Canyon Park. Red Rock Canyon Park, so we're... Which the GPS says we're at, but we're a little skeptical. Yeah, I just don't see any canyons no. or rocks, but we're walking and it's pretty. Yeah. Um, I'm regretting not bringing a hat and scarves again. Forecasts didn't show we needed it, but yeah. now we know. It's funny because our last vacation was saying to Sam, Italy in November, end of November, was warmer than Colorado right now, beginning mid-October. Yep. Pretty funny. The trees though are like really pretty. So we are not at all at the right place. Yeah, no, despite what our GPS told us when we left, we are in fact not at Red Rock Canyon Park. We're at Bear Creek Dog Park, which is a 12 minute drive away from the other place according to Google. So um, we learned something. We can't always trust our car's GPS. No, it said we were here. So we ended up just going on a romantic stroll and looking at horses. There's tons of horses. I don't know if you can see them along the way. <laughs> I look a little bit ridiculous because I had this scarf in my hair and my ears, the cold and the pressure the making wind. my head kill and my ears kill. So I use this to protect my ears. So I, I look like, what's that girl? The like, she's on the poster and she's like the... Oh, uh, Rosie Riveter? Yeah, 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 that's how I feel. Anyway, so Sam had a blast. I had less than a blast, but it was fun. Yeah, seeing all the dogs and the horses. It's really cold, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Target and get Bailey a, a cap. Yeah, we're going horseback riding tomorrow morning, and I don't wanna be cold. And yeah. I think it's gonna be warmer tomorrow, but yeah. if it's cold in the, the morning, morning, I don't want my ears to be hurting like this, so. And we're gonna get some stuff for some hot cocoa. And, and some s'mores. And s'mores, and we're gonna go back and snuggle up and uh, enjoy the Airbnb some more. And the fire. The fire, yeah. It's gonna be good. So we're back at the Airbnb and um, we had kind of like an appetizer. We had breakfast here, we made it this morning. So we skipped lunch, so we ended up just doing like an appetizer. And I love these gluten-free um, egg rolls that they sell, they sell a brand at Target. So we stopped by and grabbed me a hat to wear under my helmet tomorrow to stay warm at um, horseback riding. And then we grabbed those. So Sam cooked them up in the oven and we just finished eating those. Um, no one has Diet Dr. Pepper here. McDonald's did and McDonald's drinks are the best anyway. So we got one of those and we've just been laying here. I'm on the swinging bed. Sam has been in the egg chair and we found a new um, home renovation show on Netflix and we're just relaxing. And I think he's picking up a pizza later and it's been really good, really, really good.
I'm so cozy on this. I seriously want one of these. We don't have room in our current house, but next house, Sam has promised me that chair for a very long time in our next house. Um, it's part, part of what caught my eye when we were booking this. And I think now we're gonna go for a swinging couch. I'm fan. And I think that it's just a sticky to me, but I think it will look really beautiful. The dark stain feels like a nice contrast to our light floor. Trying out the new wine. Take a first sip from Bright Cellars. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Real good. Yay! Oh, gosh, it tastes like. It reminds me of Italy. That's exciting. Yeah, it's got like a little fruity, like, kind of happy. This is going to be a really good adventure for you. So. I'm excited. First sip of the night. Yes. <laughs> so, we are sitting here with the beautiful fire. We've got a nice gluten-free pizza, bottle of wine, and we're going to enjoy a romantic night out on the porch, watching a movie. It's it's quite cold, so the fire is, nece is a necessity. We've got A Knight's Tale playing on Netflix, and Bailey looks cute with her hat, brand new from Target. <laughs> yeah. I love you more, are you excited, babe? Are you hungry? Stop recording so we can eat. Morning two in Colorado and the sun rises here are just beautiful. The video camera's not picking it up well, so I'll insert a photo, but man. It is so pretty. They live in the black forest and they have their own little like forest property, but basically way when you come in up there on the street. There's a long path that goes all the way back. We haven't seen it, but they have a house way in the back end of the property. Um, and then they built this addition, I don't know how long ago, a couple years ago. And so, um, basically you have this, which is the house as they call it and you have like a huge living room and it has like a really nice kitchen and then two bedrooms, kitchen, little eating area, bathroom, laundry room. And then upstairs, they have what they call is the loft and they have like a whole top story and then they have a bottom story um, and that's where they have their business. And so they rent out this, they rent out upstairs and then they have like a, event company I think and like florals but they're such a nice family last night we did s'mores we watched a movie and had pizza by the fire pit and I just what a magical place to live honestly look how cute the little maybe they're not stepping stones maybe they're just wood All right, babe, so, so far, we've had one full day in Colorado. We're on day two. What was your favorite part of yesterday? My favorite part of yesterday was probably um, last night for dinner. We went and um, I went and got us a gluten-free pizza to split. And we sat out 
and used their like propane fire pit and watched a movie on Netflix. I had a couple glasses of wine. It was really good wine. Um, had a you know pizza and it was just really romantic and peaceful and we roasted some s'mores later. It was just really good. Other than that, I just enjoyed being all cozy out here. Like it's so much more fun doing nothing when you can look out and see all of this. <laughs> I mean, it was it was really cold yesterday, so we wouldn't we weren't able to do a whole lot of exploring, but it was it was still just great. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like originally since we like booked this adorable Airbnb in the woods, we had planned on spending like half of each day just here relaxing. So, I mean, now today we're gonna do mostly exploring, but yesterday it actually was nice that I feel like we pretty much just stayed here most of the day. But I think my favorite part was, um, it was probably like the most basic part of the day, but when we set, what kind of fireplace do they have? What is that? It's like a- It's a pellet. A pellet it's fireplace? A, it's a pellet uh, burning stove. Okay. So when we set that and you were sitting in the little like egg chair watching football and I was laying on the floor, I had gotten all their floor pillows and I was laying directly under the fire and we had the record playing and I was just like laying there and it was just so relaxing and I was editing photos of all the trees that I took and it was just really nice. Just I just to clarify, you, took, you were editing photos you took of trees, not you didn't take trees and then took photos of them, right? You don't have a bunch of trees hidden in our suitcase? No, I have stolen their trees. Oh boy. <laughs> Babe, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you should want to do that. We already discussed this yesterday. What if we get stopped by a, a border agent and they find out <laughs> that we're smuggling the trees back. Yesterday I told Sam that I love all their trees here and they look like the perfect Christmas trees and they have all these little baby ones that are growing everywhere. Um, and I told him, I was like, I mean, it doesn't say in the rules that we can't just like take a few. <laughs> And I was like, I know that they would die eventually because Texas can't handle it. I was like, but we could take them and like have cute little um, Charlie Brown Christmas trees. There's something wrong with you. I seriously kind of want to go to a nursery and buy like a cute little pine tree in a pot to take home. I mean, it'll only last a few months until it gets like hot, hot out, but it would be fun. Or maybe we could just keep our house really cold and keep it indoors. Oh yeah. I don't know how much money you think I make to be able to afford an electricity bill to keep it in the 50s, but I don't. <laughs> Not yet. Oh my gosh. I love it here. Obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> 